What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I've got something pretty special to share with you guys. So, uh, this is footage from the uh, the Celebrity Pro-Am tournament that I played in at COD Champs 2015 this year. So, uh, this is, uh, it was just kind of like a, a little, you know, best of three match that was meant to be just for fun. Uh, it was meant for charity. There was $100,000 being donated to the COD Endowment, and so it was just, uh, it was really cool to be able to be a part of this. I played on like the main stage in front of a big crowd and stuff like that. It was awesome. Uh, the two teams are a lot of fun, so uh, the captains of each team were actually Demarius Thomas and Golden Tate which you guys don't follow like NFL American football these guys are like you know huge like they're, they're really really good super high-end wide receivers I'm a big fan of both of them so it was really cool to be able to meet them uh, and then each team also had a pro player so on my team was Buzzo from Mind Freak and then the other team was Proofy which uh, I'm a big buddy of Proofies uh, and then each team had two fans and then the celebrities and I say that in air quotes of each team uh, were uh, JME he's a British rapper he was on the other team and then there was myself for our team so it was just it was a lot of fun you know we were playing on the new maps and it was just like, it, it was, it, I thought it was really funny. Like there's some funny moments in here and it's some good stuff. So I wanted to share it with you guys in case you guys didn't get to see it on the live stream when it aired. So uh, yeah, enjoy guys. Here we go. All right, man, I'm stoked. Listen, I'm here with Golden Tate of the Detroit Lions and captain of Team Tate. Yeah, there it is. So tell me, Golden, I hear you're a huge Call of Duty fan. How long have you been playing now? I've been playing for about uh, six or seven years. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'm pretty, I get intense when it first comes out. I'm, I'm like that guy who shows up at GameStop first in line at like 1201 to get his copy. Yeah. I got the hookup, man. We'll start getting it early to you, you know? I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding now. All right, so I know you and your fellow Lions back home spend a lot of time playing Call of Duty. So who would you say is the best player on the team other than you? Damn, besides me? Yeah, but it's got to be beside you. <laughs> uh, probably uh, uh, Ryan Brawls, probably. He's not as good as you, though, right? No, 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 no. Six, seven years, man. All right, so now we're playing today for the Call of Duty Endowment. How does it feel to be involved with a charity like this? Uh, you know, that's that's what I'm mo most impressed about uh, is, is what the cause is for. Um, I, I think it's wonderful that this money is being donated to, to help our veterans. I think it's kind of sad that we have to help our vet veterans in the first place. I think that that should be a given, that they should always have a job and, and always be taken care of. So uh, I'm, I'm really happy that uh, we're benefiting them. All right, so let's make sure our team wins then. So it's on, it's on Team Tate. Yeah, Proofy's, Proofy's, all right, yeah, you already got it going, huh? All right, yeah. All right, that's great. All right, so now we've got you guys, the team put together here. Let's take a moment to meet them. Right here, we've got Proofy from Phase Black. Yeah, give it up. This kid's been playing for a long time. You've had a good run this weekend. I know it wasn't exactly how you wanted it to be. We saw some great stuff from you and your team, but you just couldn't pull out that victory. So how are you going to redeem yourself here for Team Tate? Getting this 2-0 right now. Right, Still right. Team Mart, he's not even good at Call of Duty. At least you can play at a pro level, you know? Oh, bots. Bots. Bots over there. That's how he gets those game plays. All right, next up on, I'm, I'm, he's going to kill me after this. Next up, Team Tate, we've got British rap artist JME. Tell me, how does it feel to be a part of the team? Listen. Oh, no. Listen. Oh, no. Listen. This team here, these four guys, these three guys with me, this is all you need, this is it, yeah? This is it, this is the gold squad, yeah? Gold squad. Hold that silver squad over there, yeah? Gold squad. Right. Man, this, this team is rowdy as hell right now, all right? I'm about, I'm about to, we're about to do a 5v5 here. All right, and, fi <laughs> and finally, we have Call of Duty fan Xavier Garcia, who was selected from the audience to help us out today. I mean, are you stoked or what, man? Oh, I'm really excited, especially with the team we have here, like I said. Gold squad, not worried at all. Are you gonna be running your mouth too with everybody? Yeah, probably yes, I am. All right, All right. I'm going to be yelling up there from two. <laughs> All right, All right. that's Team Tate, guys, gold team. So um, we got a lot of energy here. I feel, I feel like we got a pretty good shot, um, but you guys have decent challengers. I mean, they are the silver team. So, Justine, uh, what's the B team looking like over there? I'm sorry, this is actually the A team over here. So I'm here with Demarius Thomas from the Denver Broncos. Now, you are the captain here of Team Thomas. Now, I know you spend a lot of time playing Call of Duty with your team. So how long have you been playing, and what do you, what do you expect today from your team? Uh, first off, uh, we, we, we will win, but we're going to let our controllers do the talking. We don't, you know, we don't boast and boost like they do over there. But um, <laughs> I've been playing probably three, four years, and um, you know, I play with my teammates. I play with my cousin a lot. But you know I get frustrated a lot because I don't win a lot. Okay, wait a minute. You're supposed to be the winning team here. I don't, I don't know. If, I think I might switch captains over here. This is not good. We'll still win. It don't matter. You know, I got, a, I got a great team. Great team. We got some, you know, 
We'll, we'll, you'll see it. You'll see it. All right. Well, next on our team, we do have another professional player here, Buzzo from Mindfreak. And I got to chat with you in Australia. So how are you feeling now going into this match here? Oh, amazing. Um, playing some DLC, I guess. You know, it's from yesterday we had a good run, but it's sort of disappointing. You know, I, I thought I'd wake up um, feeling great, but it's sort of disappointing. Um, I don't know. It's cool being here. It's good. All right. Well, next up on our team, we've got T Martin here from. You, you may have seen some YouTube videos here. So, how are you feeling about your squad? What are you going to bring to this team? You know why we're here. Uh, is that to win? Because it better be to win. Absolutely. Yeah. No. No. No chance. They're they're even taking a game on us. All right. Perfect. And next up, we have Kiana here from the audience. So, how are you feeling? And and, and do you think you're going to have to carry the team? Um, I might. I'm I think I think you're going to. I think we're going to win. All right, so if you, if you win, are you going to go to Disney or something? I, mean, I feel like that's usually what people do. Sounds like a good idea. I haven't been in a year. Perfect. We've got it here, and I'm super excited. So let's get this game all set up. Any last words for your teammates and for your contenders over there? Game on. It, it, right, tell me about this map, Benson. In, in, in all series, this is a medium-sized map, a symmetrical design. So this is where it really excites me. You know, potential maybe in esports use. There, there is a potential for that uh, with its symmetry. Players gonna have uh, fast on their feet as they make their way through a black market exoskeleton industrial design complex. So this is where they okay, make the exoskeleton. That sounds that sounds uh, much more accurate than what Maven's. Uh, Maven, uh, Maven, uh, Maven's talking about getting my ride. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, even sure no what he was talking about. You want All right, so this is this is this does count. We're done with warm-ups, right? right? Well, this, it's this a five v three though, so it's gonna uh, be tricky. It, well, JME didn't even join the right team, so... There we go, we got yeah, there we go. coming in. You know, speaking he, he of He probably JME. just did that to just talk trash. Was, no, it was Timon. Timon was, was looking at the other team. He was, he was like, calling right, out spots. Using. Yeah, exactly. He's like, all right, guys, my teammates, uh, you know, they're pushing me right now. He would. That's something T-Mart would do. That, it did, that's, that's, why, that's why it's, that's the real tips with T-Mart. <laughs> all right, right who's got the flag, man? Proofy's running. He's like, follow me. Follow me all the way back. I shall lead the way. Yes, with the Proofy, bow. go. He's got nice, gets some coverage. Look, that's like a decoy. He just put he just put take from him as a decoy and somebody just laid out I mean, a two piece there that I was mean, disastrous. You kind of want someone his size running blocking for you though, right? I mean, he's a big guy. I actually would have proofy shooting and just have uh, somebody else grab the flag. So it looks like they're gonna try it this time. But both flags pulled out. You've got JME pulling it out and I think that's Buzzo should. is gonna be playing Champ Green on the oh. other side there. I believe Pimon. A little lost, but nice to actually pick up that flag. Can he go for the first no. cap of the game? No, T Martin. Oh, I think he's gonna get no. it in. Run it. No. YouTube material. Nice no. yeah. oh, slide. Oh, Cap for T Martin. Oh, I got. I, right, I got to. I got to represent Team YouTube a little bit too. But that that one. That one stings a little bit. I'm gonna kick it over to Golden Tate. He's two and two. Let's see what he can get done. He sees the flag is out. Gonna have to pick up. Try to get the cover here. Yeah, he's covering this like guy real well. However, there's one red arrow in that base. Who who is that? Because. He's got a big gunfight. Martin. Can he make the plays here? No, T-Martin, don't choke. Chance. Oh, don't choke. No. oh, no. T-Martin, that was like, look at that smirk he had. That was the best moment in his Call of Duty career. <laughs> he probably could have started for Optic this weekend. He was like, oh, my God, I did it. <laughs> could have started for Optic this weekend? Yeah, probably. Jeez. Oh, you already Guaranteed top four. Right? Guaranteed top eight, right? <laughs> wow. All right, T-Martin running a flag yet again. Let's see Fly what he's capital. able to do with it. But he's got someone right there. There's a couple players there. Oh, no. T Martin, Martin is actually playing really well. He's stepping no, up. He's four and one. Final oh seconds. my gets God! Another cap. Oh He's no. got no caps. He's four and one. T Martin wants to win this so bad. I can feel it. I can feel it all the way up here. This is your chance to shine. This is. Release. Yeah. This you, is. Got, you got like a week where you no, can hang. No, uh, Mr. X doesn't have a leg up on me in here. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell him where all the spawns are and everything. I'd be like, oh, you don't know the spawns on a uh, capture like chop shop. <laughs> well, like we did see. We had our silver team take game number one. Team Demarius. That was just the free for all. That was just the warm up. They are, however, leading 2-0 in this one. Two minutes to work with for Team Tate. Let's see if they can bring it back. For sure. But still, minute and a half left. 2-0 lead for our red team. Jamie actually has a play. And I, I think Jamie, if he can cap this, no, 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 no. Just I say that he falls. Oh, nice. And this oh, is going to be the return for Buzzo. And oh, also no. This is bad. Yeah, cap. Oh. See? No, he didn't oh. get it in. The stop. We're doing this for the endowment. That's why we're letting Team Thomas win this one. We're trying to have you, fun you with it. Win, huh? Wait till we uh, wait till we really drop the hammer no, hold in game on. number Jamie two. Jamie just got a cap. The 17 seconds we're left. Not they're relaying. They are, they they are no. relaying it. No. They are literally relaying. It's Maven, not gonna happen. The yeah, it's it, it, it's the fan. I'm red. It, it, it's He's no. got it. Red. Seconds to no. work with. Red. No. Trap on your no. Pumas. Pretend no. this is the real NFL. No, the fan. No, the fan does not use. He didn't even use the exo. Oh my gosh, he didn't use his exo ability either. 
If yes, man, he looked like me. He looked like me running the flag there. <laughs> uh, proof he's all smiles. That was right. an incredible game number one. We're gonna kick it to game number two in the best of three. Like you said, the first one was a free for all. Well, yes. Who you pick? Who you picking in game number two? For, T Team Tate all day. Team Tate. All right, oh, we are no. gonna get ready to hop, hop into map number two of this best of three. It is gonna be uplink on Ooh, perplex. Yay. I feel like Demarius Thomas has an advantage here, being six foot five, two hundred and fifty yes. pounds yes. of muscle. He's gonna have the reach for that. Is this uplink. Notch's house? It might be Notch's this house. <laughs> Oh, this yeah, looks, this, this is, this like is the map. candy room. Benson, Benson, yeah, Benson, this is your cue to this, actually this, tell this, us this about the map. It's located in Sydney, Australia. Oh, so, great. All right. Exactly. This is Mind Freak's map. Yeah, exactly. So you expect, you know, Mind Freak to do a little bit better on this one. Great. It's a very small to medium vertical map. You can see the this kind is of cool some of the map. vertical elements. This is my favorite already. Uh, and let's not forget, in DLC, Exo Grapple. Right. Uh, and you'll see we've upped the difficulty. I'm not sure how it was played out, but T-Mart has been removed from the game. He actually talked so much trash, he received three technical penalties. Three he is now going to play to three versus four. Look at how high that is. Oh that my is gosh. so cool. The uplink portal is actually so high up that you need to use those for the That moments. is cool. T-Martin's been allowed back into the game. All right, yeah. He, Are we he, let him back in? Yeah, he received a 20-second violation. Well, Team, team yeah. Tate, 2-0 up. That's right. Well, we got we take advantage of the uh, the penalty box, man. We don't mess around here. Currently 2-0 up, Team Tate. 25 seconds left in round one. T-Martin with the drone in his hand. Can he go for the kind of a Hail Mary play? 20 seconds. Nice use of exo movement. He's got plenty of time. Astros He's going to slam down. this up. And the jump hey! Team my team, team, team Art, I was all excited for him because it, so, it looks so good going into the, uh, like that dunk, you know, just yeah. being able to just slam right through it. It's pretty cool. I love the design of this map, too. Yeah, actually, I, I, I think it. of the map so far, this is, uh, layout-wise, this is my favorite. It's really clean, nice to look yeah, at. That's what you I'm got saying. The, you got the great background. Yes. yes. See all those trees? Really efficient housing. Very yeah. efficient house. I mean, you, know, you could like fit at least space. I, like 1,200 people. We could fit the area. whole squad, the whole squad in this oh, complex. Oh, look how nice it is. I'll tell you looks. what, though, if you look at the real estate value being right across from, from the, you know, the, the opera house like that, I imagine that's pretty expensive right here, though. Buzzo confirm, well, please. Buzzo confirm. <laughs> Buzzo, yeah, Buzzo, let us know. <laughs> oh, in house Australian. Well, start off with uh, Chap Green, aka Buzzo. Looking to pick up a couple of kills. Look that battle. That's one. But I mean, Buzzo has game side at 2 2. All right. Advantage here. Let, let's, be, let's be real. Team Thomas won the first series. The 1 0 up. Who do you guys better see picking up this upwing on the flex? Team Tate all day. Team Tate? Oh, Team Tate all day. At least, I, at least he's getting out. kills. Thomas, man. Thomas is 0 5 right now. I'm sorry. He, yeah, so he, that makes him 1 14. Which means he's going to win. He is. But he's a communicator, though. Exactly. Which clearly is working well for his team. In game leadership, ladies and gentlemen. Timon picks up the drone. And I'm going to be I, I was giving T Martin a lot of flack. I'm actually surprised how well he is. He's, he's playing, playing really well. I mean, yeah. he had that break from the, the technical issue. I, I, I do want to point one thing out, though. The fan on Team Tate is currently new by the first beat. That's another score right there. T Martin, T Martin just let him have it. Satellite going to be in the hands of. Champ Green, he's eventually gonna fall. That was Buzzo. T Martin now on with him. He's seven and five. Oh, Three point it. advantage though right oh, now. Oh, no. the, the melee doesn't connect. Come on, no. Hit markers for no. days. Trying to chase him down. Eventually gets the assist. That was, that was pretty lucky. Had his uh, the fan in assistance, but T Martin looks as if he is gonna go for another two point play. They yeah, got a cruise ship Six over there to two. two. T Martin's about to left. get selected Team, for Space Team Jam Tate. too. Team Tate. About to lose again, Liz. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just blacked out looking at everything on the side of the maps and like the cruise ship. And you should free cam it, man. Yeah. Right, drive around the map. Hey, yeah, stuff. yeah, maybe. Do you know how to do that, Maven? Uh, I'm just so focused on oh, the. Oh, 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 oh no! Why oh, did he do oh, that? That was so nasty. No, Why? He threw he... the drone at the. Oh, oh no! No! no. Career over. Oh, End it. Oh, End the no. game. Oh. It's done. It doesn't matter. That was absolutely. Nasty. I'm giving them the win just for that one play. Who oh did that? God. They win. I, it doesn't matter. Forget the forget the final score. Team Tate wins this match. This is a best of three. Technically, we just ended game two. We're going to go into game three. Okay, we just, however, however, we after that, it? we are the... We're, we're the pilot. The pilot. Yeah, we're this is going to game three because of Team what Team Proof yeah, I Great agree. job, Proof. I agree. Great job, Proof. We're on the same page then. Good job, Proof. There's no way that the other team can even win after that level of disrespect. You can't even honestly get... You can't even get away. Look. Look at them running. <laughs> you know how many times I got killed? Get out of broadcaster. Oh, Proofy, let's go. Proofy talking smack, man. Proofy talking so big. No, actually, smack, I'm surprised that my, none, of, none of my team is talking any trash right now. And I'm actually, going to be honestly, pretty disappointed. Yeah? Yeah. You should, you should I, go down I, there, give, give, them, give them some motivation. I, I'd be over there like, well, I don't know if I would, actually. I mean, esports. Esports. <laughs> no wonder Proofy's not talking to Esports technically is 75% skill. 
25 percent trash talk. Yeah, but uh, uh, unlike esports, your opponent is well, a six foot eleven, <laughs> six hundred and fifty yeah, pounds. He's he's literally a walking tree. Can apparently throw Justin to San Diego. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't imagine my team will talk too Prove much trash. It. We should talk about the next map though. All right. Sight yes. Yeah. Two, four, oh, four. Oh, sick. Right, oh, that's, this, this is interesting because you guys are going to know more about this than me. Well, it's, see, that um, is Mount Rushmore in the background, Ben. Yeah. If this, so this was where in we the United like, Kingdom, that would be four faces of the Queen. Queen Elizabeth? Yeah, four yes. faces All of the right. Queen. He's right. He's right. Uh, now you see, now, now I kind of get it. Um, this map, though, looks absolutely awesome. Uh, you're basically fighting with a wreckage of a crashed alien spacecraft that has landed uh, spilling mysterious cargo. Mysterious it, cargo. That, hey, that's, okay. that's what they told me to say. Right. Um, curious to see how that mysterious cargo is going to affect the game. And probably, as you guys mentioned, the product they have in my hair came out of one of these. Yeah. It's going to be a half point game, <laughs> five minutes. The, the graphics guy, the, they need to change it. Team Thomas is not 2 0 up. This is this one more game. Oh my God. After what Proofy did, it's one more game. Yeah, we have decided to uh, make executive yeah, yeah. decisions yeah. here. It is tied one to one. We're on with Proofy. Let's see if he can just destroy any more but members. Let, let's, of that at least, team. let's at least admit whoever wins this straight up. Is the, is, the is, the, is the winner? Yeah. Can this, we this, do that? this is the signing game. Whoever right. wins this, oh wins God, the whole three thing. piece for proof. He's turning up in this one. Yeah, proof. Man, proof don't want to lose. Proof, proof hates losing. He's a, he's a born winner. As Team Tate started to build an early lead 12 to 6, see if they can try and hold out here on site to football. And Team Art, I'm going to go to you. You're 0 and 2. You got to get going. That sniper clearly not working for you. 4 and 1 right now is Proofy. Just covering this hard point. Shots coming in, not able to take out Demarius Thomas. He's going to back up, play it wisely as we see Foy's evaluating his script. Yeah. All right, guys. Six, um, nine. Four I'm going to get out of here. You got, you yeah, man, I'm going to get out of here. I got to go, do, I gotta go talk to Team Tate because we're about to win this and stuff. Thank God. Yeah. Ah, so, right. don't well, tell me that we'll do a try cast another okay, point okay, before yeah. I die. We, Absolutely. Unless I die I, tomorrow. I, I promise you. But, but, and if not, then it was great. I've got at least five more Each day is a blessing is what my grandma used to years. say. That's true. All right. Anyway, have fun. Hopefully you can motivate your team to win this because right now they are actually in the lead. 41-9. All right. Team Tate doing a good job. Yeah, Team Tate, I'm going to go over to Tate right now as they do have control, like you said, up basically 30 points here. we got to get this extra chair out of here. This is just a, this is a health hazard. There is a wild chair. Health and safety would have a fit. 8-4 is Proofy. He is going to fall from behind, though, as they are trying. Team Numeria is trying to mount this comeback. All right, so Team Tate, as you said, 42-22 to 22 in the lead. Nine seconds left on this hop win, and it is going to rotate. We'll see exactly where it's going to rotate to. Looking at that mini-map, those blue arrows on the other side, Someone on that red team actually rotated perfectly. Not sure if they actually knew that that was intentional or not. All right, I'm sticking on with Buzzo. He's got one to his right. Able to clean that up. Second player to his left. Nice exo movement there to stay alive, but it eventually is going to fall. But they're ahead, 25 points. Technically, they were 2 0 We changed the no, rules on the fly. No, they weren't 2 at all. And now they're trying to win this game three. They're leading right now by 30 points. It was, it was, it's all tied up at 1 1, babe, okay? Don't confuse the audience. I'm a very confusing man. You are. They actually call me an international man of mystery. I'm pretty sure that's not what they call you. Uh, I've never ever heard that before. No, neither have I. Uh, but let's have a look. What do you want to uh, watch? Here? I want to see our fan. Let's have a look at our fan. I mean, actually, wait, hold on. Thomas, he has, he's one of five. He's stepping things up. Hey, on the board. We're going to get eyes on with Marius Thomas. Is unfortunately, oh. he is taken Thanks. down pretty much immediately. We'll go to Buzzo here, who is, oh, oh. God, I thought he was about to get drop kicked, but he will pick it up on a three streak at 15 and eight. But they're not getting any hill time. Look at the score. Down 40. It's like they don't understand this is a game three, Benson. They got to turn up. They got to focus on the objective. I mean, it could potentially happen. They still have two minutes left. 77 to 40, the current score. And it's in favor of Team Tate. Of course, we declared this 1-1. One, one. Thinks that basically thanks to Proofy just completely disrespecting the opposite team. And Tate, his squad building themselves an even bigger lead now, maybe 84 to 40. And who's top of the team right now? Proof, it's 17 Proofy. and 9. I'm Proofy. 17 Ooh. and 9. He understands Proofy's it's a game three. He's been in so many before. Games threes, games five, round 11s, everything. When his back is against the wall, he steps up. All right, we'll see. He's backing up to this hard point. He sees that's going to be a, him versus Buzzo there, able to win that one. That's going to be one of the big matchups, obviously, in this, the two professional players on these squads. And uh, at this point, I know we have, we should have another side to go to, but they've really pulled away here. Yeah, they, they, they have. And there's only going to be, what, a minute left in this game? As Team Tate massively starting to pull away. 107 to 44. You're going to have to look at players like Team Martin, I think. Step up a yeah, little bit. I'm he had a good first mark. two series. Now only at six and seven. He put away the sniper rifle ever since he's been struggling. He's, yeah, he's, he's, maybe he should go back to the sniper rifle. 
those picks from distance, helped him out. He's just trying to run. He's going to be taken down. That was Tate of the Detroit Lions, able to clean him up. We'll switch over here. Look see at if how we can cool this map kills. looks, by the way. We, we haven't great, even touched yeah. on that. This map is so colorful. Also from Jurassic Park. Burn shots out, coming in. Yep. Able to take out T. Martin yet again is Golden Tate. Nice shots there from him. 30 seconds left. Uh, Tate can hang, man. I'm impressed. He's, he's not. He's, he's pretty better than I thought he was going to be. Yeah, I mean, obviously, they don't have the time to put in as much as the professional gamers here. They are professional athletes to their own. But putting in work here right now is final time is winding down for this side. This and game this over. has been dominated. This is game over. Team Tate going to take this hard point side. Two for Forrest. Oh, he went for it again. The and ultimate he disrespect. And he got picked off. That was unfortunate. Game over. The $100,000 check that's going to be going to the Call of Duty endowment on behalf of you guys. So yeah, get, give it up to them. You guys are putting money in good hands. Look at that, nice. I walked into this interview. When I wore my uniform, I thought I was, to be honest, hot shit. You know, I got all my medals on my chest and was just like, yeah, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna rock the shit out of this interview. I have a purple heart uh, because I was wounded in combat. I thought I was gonna bring it in and be like, hey, man, you know, you're you're a war hero. You're like that, that's free, awesome. Come on board. You're good. But uh, that that wasn't the case. When I first got out, I mean, I took I six months. I couldn't find a job. I spent a year looking for a job. A year. The jobs weren't as good as I thought they should be. Hey, you're a Marine, why don't you mop this floor? <laughs> you're in the military, perfect. We have a security position. It's $9 an hour, you'll love it, because you get to hold a gun again. I feel like there's employers out there who are just avoiding hiring veterans. When they see the, the Marine Corps on my resume, their mind goes off into... Mindless drone. Brainwash. Uneducated, they don't want you diving under a desk if someone drops something. Get down! It's that Hollywood PTSD, you know what I mean? People see these movies, you know, these guys freaking out. They think that I'm the same way. I've got feelings, I've got emotions, I've got a family. I mean, I just don't understand why somebody wouldn't hire a veteran. I mean, I've known guys who were 19 and they're in charge of a squad in Afghanistan, you know what I mean? And you're in charge of eight lives. You know, we're, we're, we're a society where being in the military means something. And it's very special. When a lot of countries, you know, being in the military, the military is a guy that pushes the people around. In America, the military has got people that protect you. We're not looking for special handouts, uh, just a, you know, a little bit of a nudge in the right direction. To... Give me a chance. Let me prove myself. I cannot tell you how many times I heard this. Thank you for your service. That's always appreciated, and it never gets old. Of course, uh, a job's better. Give them a chance. So I say, give them a, give them a chance. It's all about adapting and doing more with less in the military, so. You know, just give them a chance.